Okay, here we are, singing a song. Just made it up right now. That's how creative we are today. Just made up a song out of nothing. Ex nihilo. <laughs> That's dumb. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Essential Presents. So, one of the things that I, I maybe come back to too much, but I don't think I can come back to it too much, is if you know the truth uh, that Jesus is God, if you know the truth that he established the Catholic Church um, as the church, his, his body on earth, right? If you know the truth that he gave us the sacrament of confession for whenever we're weakest, whenever we need his mercy the most, then if you know this is true, the only way Satan can ever actually derail you, the only way he could ever wrestle your soul from the hands of God is if he got you to the point where you were so discouraged that you just ceased asking him for help, the Lord for help. That if, if, if the evil one got you to the point where you were so discouraged that you said, no, I, I can't go to confession again. No, nah, God doesn't want me. Um, no, nah, all these kind of things. Because we, we realize, right, that, wait, if Jesus is God, he established a church and he gave us confession, he gave us that gift of confession to be used. Like that means that he, he actually, he wants to forgive me. As Pope Francis had said, God never tires of forgiving us. We tire of asking for forgiveness. Like we are the ones who get tired of this. And that's called discouragement. And one of the things I think, one of the sources of discouragement is <laughs> self-reliance and pride. Self-reliance comes out of pride. What is that? Um, I look at myself and I, I, I look at myself and I think, I should be better. I look at myself and I say, what the heck? Why am I so weak? I look at myself and I say, listen, I should, at this point in my life, I shouldn't be struggling with X, Y, or Z, whatever it is that I struggle with. I look at myself and say, I need to work harder. I can do it on my own. That basically, it's called pride. And that pride, we think, sometimes we think of pride as that sense of like, I don't need God. It's a like declaration of our rebellion against God kind of a situation where we say, no, that's actually not, well, I mean, sometimes that is. But a lot of us are afflicted and affected by a different kind of pride. And a different kind of pride is not I rebel against God. It is this overwhelming discouragement that I shouldn't need God so much. I shouldn't have to go to confession again. I should be able to be good enough to just stay away from confession, to stay away from the sin, to stay away from the temptation. I should be so good, so strong, so powerful, so holy, whatever that thing is, that I shouldn't need God as much as I actually need him. And because of that, I'm discouraged. Now here's what I invite people to do. If, this, if you find yourself in a place of discouragement like that, that says just, man, I don't know, I keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and I keep failing, what you need to know, what I need to be reminded of is I need to take my sin seriously, meaning I need to take God seriously. That God doesn't look at our sins and say like, oh, don't worry about it, it's fine. Like if you had my eternal perspective, it's, it's a drop in the sand, you know, drop in the ocean. It's a drop in the bucket. No, we take our sin seriously because we take God seriously. Like we take God's commandments seriously. We take the fact that like, no, actually I can, I can, I can sell away my inheritance, right? I have a birthright. We have this story of Esau and the story of Jacob. And what does Jacob do? J Jacob basically buys the birthright from Esau for a, a pot of porridge. We realize I could do that with my birthright, your birthright. We could do that. Basically, whenever we take the eternal blessing that God has given us as his sons and daughters, inheritance he wants to give us, and we say, yeah, but I want my sin more. So we do that. We have, we have the capability of doing that. And we actually, some, so many of us, have the reality that we do actually do that. So we do this. So I need to take God seriously. I need to take my sin seriously. But here's what I do not need to take seriously. I need to take myself less seriously. And you, maybe you need to take yourself less seriously. One of the, the things that leads to self-reliance, to self that pride, is I take myself so seriously that I think, you know, I couldn't possibly sin, I couldn't possibly fall, I shouldn't be this weak, I shouldn't be this, this broken. And we realize, okay, let's just tell, us, let's tell, tell ourselves the truth about ourselves. Okay, I am that weak, I am that broken, I am that sinful, I am, I, I am that, need, that much in need of help. And I remember we had a missionary here once, and I always quote her because at one point she said, she said, you know, I was praying with Jesus about my weakness. And he, I, he just kind of spoke to me in my prayer. And he said, why are you su so surprised to discover that weakness is weak? Because she was always very, very upfront with the Lord and with other people, you know, in the right way about her weakness. But then she was getting discouraged and she allowed the Lord to speak to her in her prayer saying, wait, wait, wait a second. You acknowledge your weakness, but then you get surprised 
when you're actually weak? Why are you so surprised when weakness is actually weak? That's a self-reliance that leads so quickly to self-condemnation. And so what we need to do, again, take sin seriously, take God seriously, take ourselves not seriously. In fact, my pal C.S. Lewis, what does he say? He says humility, right? That's what humility is. If, if, the, if the culprit is pride that leads to self-reliance, the answer is going to be humility. And what's humility? Humility, as C.S. Lewis said, is not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less. Like it's not saying, oh, I'm so bad, I'm so weak, I'm so awful. Like no, it's just thinking of ourselves less. Like recognizing that, okay, if I've fallen, I'm going to take my sin seriously. And I'm going to take God seriously. But I'm not just going to take, here, this, this is the key, this is the end, the end of the whole thing. I'm not just going to take God's justice seriously and God's promise of judgment seriously, because he does. I mean, that's, we guys, guys, we've been reading through the Bible in here, and there is judgment proclaimed in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. God's just judgment is, is real. I'm going to take that judgment seriously. But if I take God seriously, I'm also going to take his mercy seriously. And God says, when you're weak, come to me. And God says, when you're broken, come to me. And God says, cast your burdens upon me. And God says, I love you even in your, in your woundedness. And God says, I can take your sins as far from you as the east is from the west. And God commands us to forgive our, our brother and sister 70 times, 7 times, which is essentially infinite. So his willingness and his ability to forgive us in an infinite amount is even more if that's possible. So, if you ever find yourself getting discouraged, Stop taking yourself so seriously. Take your sin seriously and take God even more seriously. His judgment, yes, but also his mercy that is without end and is new every morning and is just waiting for you to allow him to forgive you. For all us here at Ascension Resents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.